What's up my night riders? Tanya here. Welcome to the nightlife. I hope that all my night riders have had a great Thanksgiving holiday and that you spent quality time with family and friends or whatever you may have done for the holiday, Thanksgiving holiday. I would like to welcome you here to the nightlife. Today's video is very special. It is the video where I am completing my 100 envelope challenge. And I'm so happy about that. And I'm so glad you're here for this. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Come on into the Knight Rider family, the Nightlife family. We would love to have you. Please consider liking this video. Um, as a matter of fact, won't everybody take a minute right now, hit the like button down below. It takes a few seconds. It won't take you away from the video. Hit that like button. And after you've watched the video or during the video, if you want to leave me comments, go ahead. I like to converse with you, especially let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're, what you're up to for the upcoming holidays. Um, did you buy anything for Black Friday? Did you shop for Cyber Monday? And you know, Giving Tuesday is the Tuesday after uh, Cyber Monday. So what did you do? Did you do anything special? Let me know in the comments. Also, I wanna take a minute because I got some Happy Meal here. And I got it from Nyjah at the Budgeting Bacon. Budgeting the Bacon. Um, and I am going to open it up. I won a giveaway. Thank you, Naja. If you guys have not gone over to her channel to check her out, please go ahead and do so. Um, lots of great information about investing. She paid off her mortgage. She maxed out her Roth IRA. So much um, good information on that channel about investing and, and everything else. So, um, budgeting the bacon. Let me open this up right quick. I don't have any... I do have some prayer cards to read, but this video is going to be rather long, so just to FYI, I won this printed mini journal. So beautiful. Um, I won a giveaway, and this is gorgeous. Very gorgeous. I hope I'm in frame. Let me look. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. I'm trying not to wreck the packaging. Okay. This is very lovely. Thank you, Naja. This this will fit right in my purse. If I need to take notes or something, write something down. I love this, and I love purple. So that I got that. I got rainbow scratch stickers. Oh, these are lovely. Very nice rainbow scratch stickers. I think I will enjoy these with my little niece. My little niece Ava, she is into stickers, so I will enjoy this with her. Thank you very much, and it matches this pretty journal. Also, I got, oh, look at that, a placeholder. It's a placeholder, you guys. It's a hundred dollar. Um, placeholder it says in bacon we trust bacon bit squad save your bacon I love this <laughs> thank you Naja nice to meet you happy mail from budgeting the bacon that's so nice I love it I love that I hope the glare is not too much on it and then I got a card it says Hey Tanya, thank you for entering and winning the giveaway. I appreciate appreciate you and all your support. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Head bacon in charge, Nadja. Thank you, Nadja. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. I'm going to use these and I'm going to have fun with the, the little scratch offs, the scratch, rainbow scratch stickers. Anyway, let's get into this. 100 envelope challenge um, completion here. Uh, oops. So I started this back on January 12, 2023, and I'm happy to.
to be completing it um, ahead of schedule. And so I hope you don't mind if we chat and, and, and uh, you know, talk while we fill stuff envelopes. I hope that's okay. We will do that. So I hope, what was your Thanksgiving like? I'm trying to get my pen to work, my Apple pen. Come on here. Work for me. Work, work, work. Okay, there we go. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we are going to stuff and talk. I am going to start from the bottom here. So the first envelope I will be stuffing is 56. So, uh-oh. Why is that not... Oh, sorry, you guys. I thought that I had this all squared away. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. I got 50. I have... Oh, I see what I did. I didn't have change, and so I was going to stuff it with $60. So, envelope 56 will get $60. Um, oh, so... Get sixty dollars. So you guys, now that Thanksgiving is over and you have done your Thanksgiving meals, can you guys see that? I hope so. Now that you've done your Thanksgiving, and I'm not gonna worry about stuffing these very neatly because I'm just going to unstuff them immediately so I can get this over to high yield. So now that you've, you're done with Thanksgiving, are you going to save right away for next Thanksgiving or are you going to wait? We're going to do envelope 55. So I emptied my, I emptied my Thanksgiving envelope. I used every dime that was in there. And so I am going to start it like, I guess at the top of the year. For these last few months, I'm not gonna worry about stuffing the Thanksgiving envelope. If I do, I'll put like a couple of dollars in there. Every little bit helps you guys. But what are you gonna do? Are you going to immediately start saving for next Thanksgiving or are you going to take a break and just begin at the top of the year? Envelope 54 is getting 54. 51, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I mean, with the cost of food, you know, we, we may consider it. I don't know. But are you going to and I'm just going to use black ink for these because it's time consuming to find a color. So envelope 54. We're going to do envelope 53. So I saw a couple of people that I follow, 5123, complete their 100 envelope challenge. So inspiring. Melissa from Budget Stuff Save Repeat. I saw that she finished hers. I was so excited. I dropped what I was doing and just ran when I saw that she was gonna post the video to complete hers. So that was Melissa from Budget Stuff Save Repeat. Also, I saw Tiffany at Cash Locks and Life. I believe she also, this is envelope 52, she also completed hers which I was stoked. I mean, almost like back to back, I saw those videos and I was stoked. And I, I have since watched them a couple of more times because <laughs> I was just so inspired um, by those two ladies. That's uh, Budget Stuff, Save Repeat, Melissa and Tiffany at Cash Locks and Life. I also watched, um, who was it? This envelope is envelope 51. 
um, Deborah from Deborah's Journey, she, envelope 51, she finished her, um, she finished hers and then she started, she just recently restarted hers, but you guys, you'll have to go take a look at that video where she talks about restarting it. Um, go check out her channel because she, she's also, she's paying off a student loan, which is, oh my gosh, she's making such great progress and she's showing you like step by step her journey of how she's paying off her student loan. Um, very inspiring. It, it can be done. But getting back to the 100 envelope challenge, she is doing it with a twist. And I'm trying to remember she's doing it like she's doubling it, the two, four, six, eight. Um, there's a way that she's doubling it. And if I can remember, I'll put the link down in the description box below. But um, move, go on over to her channel and check it out. Um, Deborah's Journey. She is, uh, this is envelope 49. She is uh, starting hers over 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. She is starting hers over and it's with a twist. Um, it's really crazy, you guys, because you see the 100 envelope challenge and sometimes it might be intimidating to some people, but there's so many different ways to do the 100 envelope challenge. I have a video of when I very first did the 100 envelope challenge um, on my channel. It is the most watched video on my channel. Um, how to do the 100 envelope challenge and I just put clips of like different people and how they did the 100 envelope challenge it does not have to be um, it doesn't have to be scary you guys if you don't have it you can adjust it to your budget this is envelope 48 20 40 45 46 47 48 you can adjust it to your budget um, I watched a video um, from it's her channel is craft and budget with on craft and budget with on she had a challenge that she had picked up from jamie's realistic life um she had a hundred envelope uh like a version of the hundred envelope challenge where you could put like if you didn't have a specific amount you can choose the amount um again if i remember i'll put a clip down below or a clip in somewhere in this video or a picture of it or and the link to on's channel go check out craft and budget with on um, this is envelope 47 um, but 20 40 45 for 6 for 7 she is doing a version of the hundred envelope challenge where you choose the amount that you do have or that you can stuff there's so many different versions out there what one is that 47 in color 48 47 and 48 there's a so many different ways to do it you guys it doesn't budgeting and saving and cash stuffing it doesn't have to be boring there's so many games and such that you can play and do and pick up for free or very inexpensive 20 45 46 this is envelope 46 so you guys I say all that to say, um, yeah. Also, I saw it's Tara for the love of budgeting. She was doing it. Um, six. I think she completed hers. Also, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Don't let the hundred envelope challenge uh, intimidate you. Like, if you can't do it like this way, the traditional way, don't, don't let it get you. So 45, I'm going to be stuck on 45. I'm going to try and do two at a time to speed this up. 45, that's what that envelope was. And this next envelope is 44. Yeah, don't let this intimidate you. 20, 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44, 45 and 44. There's so many different ways that you can do this. And when I'm done, I plan on doing it again, but I think I'm gonna find a different way to do it because this is my third time doing this the traditional way. 
and I kind of want to spice it up so I'm going to do it again but I'm going to do it differently I think next envelope is 43 43 and 41 so 20 41 2 3 that's 43 uh, this set of envelopes I'm using is my very first set I didn't buy it I made it from the dollar store 41 43 and 41 I made it um, go check out that video it's my I can't believe it's like my my most watched video of how to do the 100 envelope challenge 43 and 41 um, it doesn't matter what you put your your money in it could be a paper bag a plastic bag a basket a bucket doesn't matter what the receptacle um, find something to put it in in order to make the envelopes go get yourself a box of envelopes from the dollar store uh, next envelope is 39 and then we're gonna do envelope 38 38 and 39 20 30 35 36 37 38 39 yeah go to the dollar store get yourself some white envelopes Get yourself some stickers, decorate your envelopes, work with what you have. Look around your house. You might have something in your house that you can already, you can already use. 39, this is envelope 38, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Have something you can already use um, for free and you know, keep it moving. Um, yeah, something you can use for free, 38 and 39. And also, like, how you do it. Like, you can do it on your pay, you can stuff envelopes on your actual payday. I've seen people, videos where people do it every day. They stuff an envelope a day. Like, honestly, I don't know how they can do it unless they're, I guess they're doing it according to their budget. I, I shouldn't say I don't know how they do it. They're doing it according to their budget. 20, the next envelope is 37. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Um, they're doing it according to their budget. And and I that's the most important thing. Do what always works for you. Just because, you know, a certain person is stuffing an envelope a day or... I don't know, stuffing five envelopes at a time. That doesn't mean you have to do that. You do what works for you. Um, 36 and envelope 34. That's what's going to be next. So 34, 20, 31, 2, 3, 4. 34. Yep. You can, you can have, you can choose your envelopes at random. Envelopes 36. Or you can, um, 20, 30, 35, 36. You can choose your envelopes at random, or you can just do them in order. I chose to do them according to what I had on a specific, at any specific time that I stuffed. I can't even say that I stuffed on payday. It was kind of random. It was like whenever I had the money. So, you know, it's crazy. Um, you can have Siri choose your number. You can write one through 100 on some little scraps of paper, put it in a bag and draw it out. Um, if you have one of them bingo ball cages, you can have numbers. You can have balls numbered from one to 100 and just choose one. Um, envelope 32. And envelope 31 that's the next two envelopes 31 and 32 10 20 30 31 it's all a matter of preference and what works for you you guys it doesn't have to be boring um, some people say oh no I can't do the hundred envelope challenge yes you can if you have to do it with change you can do it um, envelope 32 20 25 30 31 32 it's just a matter of preference. So, 31 and 32. 
I, I, I'm a strong advocate of do what you can when you can. Don't stress because if you have saved any amount of money more than what you did before, if you've progressed yourself forward, then, you know, you're doing good. Envelope 28 and then envelope 27 is next. Yes, 27. So 28 and 27, 20, 15, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Uh, go watch some YouTube videos on how to do the 100 envelope challenge. See what see what the, the rumble is. See what people are doing. And then go from there. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you want to do something else, do something else. 27 and 28 is going to be next. I know I'm kind of off camera here. 27 and 28 is next. And... Like I said, I am going to do this again. There's something about delayed gratification. There were times where I wanted to quit and just take the money out of here, but I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, I'm glad that, you know, 22, envelope 22 and envelope 21. So 21, I'm glad I stuck with it because there were times where I watched other I watch videos and I'm like, why can't I stuff like that? And it's not even about that, you guys. You always have to do what is right for you. I can't stress that enough. Do what is right for you. And another thing too is, you guys, if you have to... I mean, there were times where I almost needed to take the money out of here. If you have to take the money out of here, you have to take it out. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's what it's for. I mean, and then guess what? Start again. Begin again. Envelope 18 and envelope 17 is next. 10, 15, 16, 17 is next. Uh, in the beginning, I don't know if I stuffed over, so I don't know... I'm going to unstuff this 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know if I'll have more than $5,050 because I can't remember like on some of the ones. I think on like when I first got started, I I didn't have like if I didn't have change, I you know, I just overstuffed the envelope, so that will remain to be that will You'll find out when I find out, when I unstuff it. Hey, you guys like my squirrel? That's like my little mascot. It, in case you are new here, I like squirrels. I like squirrels are my spirit animals. I know you think I'm crazy, but the reason behind that is this. I used to have a pet squirrel when I was little. I shouldn't say I, my parents. We had two pet squirrels. Um, my mom was an avid outdoor outdoorsy woman. She loved to fish. She loved to hunt. She loved the outdoors and nature. And so we lived on five acres of land. And so we had animals, we had trees. Uh, there was always a lot of wildlife around us. And one time there was a mama squirrel, I'm sure of it, um, a mama squirrel, two of her babies fell out the nest and she didn't come back for them. And you know, we, my mom tried to do the right thing and just leave them and, you know, wait for the mom to come back, but the mama didn't come back. And so, um, the next envelope is 16. Mama didn't come back. And so we had two pet squirrels and one squirrel was named Hector. And I, I'm trying to remember what the other squirrel's name is. I'll have to ask my sisters, my siblings, my older siblings, but I remember Hector. Hector was you know, one of the squirrels, and, uh, oh, 16, 16, and, let me not get distracted, 16, envelope 16, um, the pet squirrel was named Hector, and I cannot remember what the other squirrel's name, but anyway, we had two pet squirrels, and so that began my love of squirrels, and so, 
I am a friend of the squirrel. I'm not a squirrel whisperer per se, but I'm a friend of the squirrel. I feed the squirrels in the yard. I, I break for squirrels. I'm the crazy squirrel lady, okay? Um, next envelope is 14, and this is 11. 11 and 14. So yes, hence all the squirrel references in my videos. 10, I mean 5, 10, 11. Yes, so anyway, yeah. Your girl like squirrels. So 11 and envelope 14. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, your girl likes squirrels. Anywho, yes, we are getting down to the wire. 11 and 14 was those two envelopes. And I have to look up every now and then to make sure my camera is still going. Y'all, we are on the last row. The last row. Okay, so envelope six and envelope four. One, two, three, four ones. Yes. So the reference is to squirrels. Now you know. If I ever ask you that, now you know. Four and six. Almost dropped that money. If I ever ask you now, you know. Um, four and six. Four and six. Um, so yeah, you guys. Oops. And finally, you guys, I will be stuffing envelope three. Last envelope, you guys. Envelope number three is the last envelope. And then I will be done with the 100 envelope challenge for 2023. I will be starting it up again. I don't know which rendition of it I will be doing, but I will be doing it again. I just love the gratification of it all. It's so such an accomplishment after you finish it and to know um, that you've done it. There you go, you guys. See that? I have finished my 100 envelope challenge for 2023 is finished. I started it on January 12, 2023. And yes, I'm very happy that I'm done. The it, it was long, it was tedious, it was, you know, it had its ups and downs, the range of emotions. I'm happy. Would I do it again? Yes. Do I recommend you doing it? Yes. Um, but do what works for you. Don't let it be stressful. Let it be fun. Make it a game. Um, so many things. I think I'm going to do another um, how-to 100 envelope challenge with different renditions. I'm going to show the different ways you can do the 100 envelope challenge. Um, just so that people get an idea of how to do it and, and to know that there are so many different ways to do it. Um, so plan on that in the future here uh, on my channel. If you stuck with me to this point, I surely do appreciate you. Remember the squirrel story. It's going to come back up. Remember that squirrel story. I'm going to use that sometime in a giveaway as a trivia question. Maybe. Remember. Remember why your girl loves squirrels. Um, if you stuck with me this far, I thank you. If you found value in the content of this video or on this channel, please do me a favor, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and definitely come back to see us again. Now remember, keep your head up, keep smiling, you got this, be awesome, be great, amazing things will happen. I love you guys, thank you, see ya!